Oh my goodness, it looks even cooler with the shaders on. I didn't even mean to do this. I must have just left them on from some other stuff I was doing earlier. And um, yeah, now I think I'm gonna sit here and stare at this for a while. You guys go watch the intro. My name is Matt and welcome back to this tutorial series on Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7. What, what are we on at this point? Like episode 10? So in this episode, as you can see over here, we are going to be making this outline for the mansion expansion and then building up this first section to that. As always, down in the description, there will be world downloads for the both Java and Bedrock editions and a full list of materials used for the episode along with links to my Discord and Twitter. Now we are going to be starting on the right hand side of the mansion as we're looking at it from the front at the base of this section that we built in the last episode so just down there we're going to come to the base of this pillar at the front corner of that section that i just indicated and we're going to place a block of gray wool against that block just there we're going to build it up by nine blocks that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then build it down until it hits whatever terraforming you did just like that. Then come back and out diagonally to that block just there and build that up with gray wool to the same height. Once you've got that, from this section here, that's the first lot of gray wool that we placed, you're gonna count four blocks in a diagonal like that. Now I'm gonna place yellow concrete as we go here just because it's kind of hard to see with the terraforming. So that is one block diagonal, that's two, that one there is three, and that one there is four. So we're gonna leave those four blocks, as you can see there from above, that is a straight diagonal. We're gonna leave them as a gap. And then on what would be the fifth block, we're gonna place gray wool like that. And we're gonna build this up to the same height as these ones over here. Then come back in a diagonal parallel to the way we've done these ones and build up another lot of gray wool. Again, to the same height as these. Now grab some polished andesite. And we're gonna come down here just behind this wall. We're gonna put the first bit of polished andesite there next to those stairs. And we're now gonna go in a zigzag this way for a total of eight blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then when you get to the end here, place one on that side, just like that. Place a block behind that last block you placed on the end there go three blocks of polished andesite that way and one behind them just like so. We're then gonna to switch to regular andesite and come along underneath all of these corner blocks that we've just placed, placing a block of regular andesite underneath them like that and do that with those three blocks as well. Then underneath all of those regular andesite blocks, we're placing polished andesite stairs facing that way just like so, and we're only doing this up until that block there. These two blocks here can get regular andesite put underneath them, and these three blocks can get polished andesite like that. And now come behind, and we wanna, in the little gaps where the stair goes like that, we're gonna place polished andesite blocks like that so we don't have any holes in them. Then place another block of polished andesite underneath all of those stairs and also underneath those two like that and place three blocks of regular andesite underneath those blocks just like so. Now moving around, place two blocks of polished andesite coming out of that block just there. Then go one like that and two more this way. One there and two more. Place a temporary block on the end of that block just there and one underneath it. Then place a block of polished andesite just like that. You can then break these temporary blocks and zigzag this way, one, two, and three. Now this block here is going to be a corner, so we're gonna change direction and go this way now. And we're gonna zigzag here for one, two, three, four, and five. Then change direction again and come one, two, three, and four, back in that direction. Now place a temporary block underneath that last block you placed, and going this way, that's towards the front, 
place one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks of polished andesite. We're then turning through 90 degrees and going 14 this way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then turn through 90 degrees again, and now we're going backwards for 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we're going in one, and two that way, just like that. Now we're switching to gray concrete. We're gonna come two inwards, just like so. And then two towards the back, like that. And we want this line this way to be an eight part two block diagonal. We already have one part here, so we need another seven. So we're gonna come in and two, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you can count this double check, you've done it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments like that. And now on the end here, I'm gonna come in one more time and this time just come out one so there's just one block there like that on that last bit. And now on the end of this bit that we've just done, we're gonna place some stone bricks there to mark the end of that. Now coming around to this side, from this block here, we're gonna go two that way in towards the middle, then one towards the front, two more that way, one more, and two more that way. Now from this block, we are zigzagging in that direction for a total of 12 blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You may find that you need to do something like I've just done there by breaking some of the terraforming, that's fine. And now to finish off this outline, I'm gonna put a stone bricks on the end of that last bit we finished on just there. And if I fly up above it here, you can see what our outline should look like from above. Now to finish off this outline before we start building up some more of the build, we're gonna grab some regular andesite and around here underneath all of these pieces of polished andesite, we're gonna place one block of regular andesite underneath them all, just like I'm doing here. And we're gonna do this as far around as this front right corner just there. So once I get there with my andesite, let me see just there, that's as far as I'm going with that and we can now move on to the rest of the build. Now this extension that we're actually adding to the mansion here is built up of three segments and we're gonna be doing them one at a time. So the first one we're gonna be working on is just here, that's the one we're gonna do now. Then there's one here and then there's one here. So we're gonna mark out where the edge or the corner I suppose rather of this first segment is by on these three blocks just here each of those we're building up 40 blocks that's four zero 40 blocks of stone like this so 40 on that one 40 on that one and 40 on that one when you're building up a large number of blocks like that by the way it's a good rule of thumb to use the y values to double check yourself because it would be so easy to slightly miscount that and end up doing like 39 blocks or 41 blocks so we can see here I'm at 113 stood on that. And if I jump down to that one, I'm at 73, so good, that is 40 blocks, and that means I've done that right. Now that we have this as our edge to that segment, we can come back to these pieces of the gray wall that we placed initially. Now on this one, we're gonna count one, two, three, four from the top, place a temporary block just there like that, with some gray wool coming out of the front of it like that. Build that up to the top, so you should now have a four high piece of gray wool just here. Do a similar thing, only now we're going with the second block from the top. And place two like that, break our temporary block. Do the same again, so we now have two of these two high bits like that. And now on this one, we're gonna count one, two, three, four from the top again, place it there, and build up our four blocks. Break that temporary block, and now when we look at this, you can see we've made ourselves a little bit of an arch just like that. Now come around the back here, and on this end, count one, two, three blocks from the top, place a temporary block there, and on this side of it, place your three blocks of gray wool just like so. 
And then next, come down to the bottom here with some grey concrete. Place grey concrete in a diagonal line going like this. So there's just these one blocks of polished andesite still visible there. And now all of these, we're going to build up to the same height as our grey wall here. Once you've done that, come back up to the top here with some smooth quartz slabs. And we're going to place them on each of the top halves of these wall blocks coming around the front like that and back just like so. Then on top of each of those quartz slabs, we're gonna place smooth stone like this. And we're now gonna fill in the whole of this gap with smooth stone, just like I'm doing here. So once you've done that from above, it should look like this. And if we come underneath it, we can double check that there's no gaps, not between that and the wall and not between that and the gray wall blocks that we placed over here. Moving up now, we're gonna place a polished andesite block on top of this inside piece of the smooth stone like that. And then we're zigzagging it out to the front. So we're coming out and across, out and across, out and across, just like this. We should stick out one from that block there. And then we're gonna come back this way like this until it touches that stone just like that. Now switch to your gray wool and go around placing it on each of these blocks that I'm doing just now like this. And when you get around to here, place a couple like that. So you've got gray wool behind this block as well, just like that. Now go around and place a second piece of gray wool on those two blocks there. Leave that one as it is. Place the second block of gray wool on those three blocks there. And then on these three blocks, place two more just like that. Then switch to gray concrete powder and place two blocks on top of each of these, just like this. Now we're switching to cyan terracotta. We're placing three blocks on top of this end. So this gradient should now be a total of eight blocks high. And we're building up the rest of this cyan terracotta to the same height there. Now the precise way you do that gradient doesn't actually matter. If you wanted to do it a bit differently, that would be fine. The important thing is that the total height of it is eight blocks. So from this block to the top block is eight blocks. Now anyway, the next stage is to grab a bunch of droppers and have them all facing up along here. Make sure they're facing up, because if they're facing sideways, can't even get it to, yeah, if they're facing sideways, it changes the texture, and we want them all to have this texture. This would also work with dispensers, but I thought just for the sake of those of you doing this on survival, I would use droppers, as they are a bit cheaper. Once you've placed those, grab some regular stone, and we're gonna place one, two, three, four blocks of regular stone, on top of each of these droppers. Take some polished andesite and place it just like this on the bottom of those four blocks of the stone, just like that, so it sticks out. Now on top of each of these six pieces of stone going that way, place one more piece like that. And then on the front of each of those, place another piece like that, so it sticks out above the rest. And then for these four, we're placing, whoops, we're placing one behind like that and bring it back in a diagonal just like so. For the wall that goes this way, we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five on top of that block there. One on that one. Seven on each of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One on that one again. And then six on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six just like so and now before we do any more on this section there's a bit of a sill that comes around here i don't even know if that's the right word but it's what i'm calling it we're going to put dark prismary on that block of the stone bricks just there just next to this bit where it starts to overhang here and then we're zigzagging in this direction for six so that's one two three four five six on this side place one block of stone on that one, two on that one, and one, two, three, four, five on each of these ones. And then with your dark prismarine, have two blocks coming out like that with one on top, two blocks coming out like that with one on top, with two blocks coming out just like that, and two blocks coming out just like that with a block of stone just there. And now this gap behind here, we can fill in 
just by placing stone behind those stone bricks like so. Then to finish off this bit of detail around here, we're gonna grab some smooth quartz slabs, place them on the bottom half slabs, going along like this until we get to there. Then switch to full smooth quartz blocks and place them there, 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 and there, just like so. Now back to this wall that we were working on before. Next to either one of these gaps, we'll start in this one. You're gonna count one, two, three blocks, leave that as a gap, and then take some stone brick stairs and place them like that. So we now have this three block hole. And in fact, to make sure that this stops above here, we're gonna place some stone in behind those stairs, just like that. We're gonna do the same on this one at the same height. So one, two, three stone brick stairs and stone behind them just like so. Now these two holes are windows, so we're gonna fill in the backs of them with black concrete just like this. Now between these two windows, we're gonna place a cobblestone wall just like that, halfway up them, so that should be on the second block of their height. Now moving back to our regular stone blocks, we're gonna place two on there to get it up to the same height as these, and one on there, and around this side, on top of that block of dark prismarine there and this one here, we're gonna build up with stone to the same height as these ones across here. To start building up the roof on this thing, we're gonna put two blocks of dark prismarine coming out the side of that block like that. Then one on top of that and a second one and a third one just like so. Now from this one, which is the last one that we placed, we're zigzagging back in this direction for five blocks. So that's one two, three, four, and five. Now in this gap that we have between there and the wall, if you come down here, you can see that bottom bit of prismarine there. We're zigzagging that back as well. So zigzag that like so, until it looks just like that. And now there's just two more little gaps down here. So in this one, we're gonna put some dark prismarine like that. And here we're gonna place two just like so, and that fills in all of our gaps on this side. Moving over to this side of the roof now, on top of each of these three pieces of stone, we're gonna have three blocks of dark prismarine going out to the front like that. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. From this block here now, we're gonna zigzag back this way for four. So that's one, two, three, and four, just like so. We're then gonna do the same for both of these. So here, one, two, three, four, and one, whoops, one, two, three, and four, just like that. Now the top part of this roof is gonna be a lot easier to explain and build if we already have the wall coming across here to build into. So we're gonna grab some gray wool come up against this wall here, and on the end of this piece of dark prismarine here, place one, two, three, and four bits of wall just like that. Place a block of dark prismarine on the end of that one just there, with two pieces of gray wool on top of it to the same height as that one, just like so. Then to this side here, build up again to the same height, and go one more diagonal, Again, the same height, just like this. Now on this side, against this piece of stone bricks here, place one, two, three, four bits of gray wool to get it to the same height as the rest of it. Then on the end of here, build that up to the same height, build up to the same height on the end of here, and last of all, build it up like that on the end of that one to the same height as the rest of it. Now coming back to the roof to finish off this section with the gap here, on top of this block right here, place a block like that, bring it out and around in a corner just like so. So we should be able to look underneath it and see this corner like this. And now we're going in a diagonal from this block. So just zigzag it back so you have a diagonal line running from that block back until it hits the wall. Do the same from this block so have a diagonal line zigzagging back like that. So diagonal line from that one, diagonal line from that one, 
and then you'll just be left with this little gap here which you can fill in like so. Now we want to add a bit of detail to the edge of this roof, so we're going to grab some polished andesite slabs. We're going to start by placing one just here on the end of this dark prismarine on the bottom half of the slab, with one there on the top half of it. Then come up to here and place one on top of each other just like so. The same here, one on top of each other like that. Moving around, place one on the bottom half of that side and come down with one just like that. Then move around, place the same just like that with one on the bottom half of that slab just like that. And now we're going to move around to this side and we're going to place some single slabs on the bottom half of those blocks just going back in diagonal line like so. Now we're moving up again and we're going to grab some stone bricks and from on top of this block we're going to build them in a diagonal like this until we meet the wall just there. And then on each of these corners we're going to build these up to the same height as our stone brick pillar that we did at the beginning there. Then get some polished andesite stairs, place them upside down one block below the top all facing this way except this last one which is going to be facing like that and I think I just realized I missed that one there. Then on this end here we're going to have polished down the side stairs upside down like that and facing this way on that side. On top of these two we're going to place polished down the side and on the top of all the rest of these we're going to place some stone bricks like so. Come up against the wall here, place a temporary block there and some polished andesite there. Now against this temporary block place upside down stone stairs facing that way. We need the temporary block because otherwise it's impossible to get the right angle to place them in that direction. And now following the zigzag of this stone brick here we're going to place upside down stone stairs zigzagging like this until we reach the corner there. When we reach this corner, rather than coming right into the corner here, we come around, just come straight across these three blocks here, like that, and our last stairs are going just there, like so. Now behind this pillar of stone here, count one, two, three blocks from the top, place a stone brick block there, and we're now zigzagging that this way for 11 blocks, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're then changing direction and going this way in a diagonal for fifteen. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then to finish off going this way in towards the wall for four there. One, two, three, and four. And that's very nicely met up with the wall there which I'm glad about. And what we're going to do now, we're going to go around these corner blocks, putting one on top of all of those blocks we've just placed in the corners there. Then place a block of polished andesite on top of all of those blocks of stone bricks in the corners that we've just placed. Now what we're going to do is go around, similar to what we did on this side, we're going to take our polished andesite stairs, place them upside down one block below the top like this, all the way around. On this side they're all facing the way you can see there. And when we come around to this side they're all going to be facing this way and this, this side here as well they're also going to be facing this way. And we're now going to go around and on top of all of those stairs place a block of polish and the site like this. Before we build the roof to this section there is a window that goes in this part of it here so we're going to build that first. And we're going to start by leaving two blocks there as a gap between the window and the wall. We're going to put five blocks of stone bricks on top of that block there. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Leave a two block gap and put another five blocks of stone bricks just there. Take some cyan terracotta, place it behind that block there and then build up one, two, three, four and you can see how that touches the stone brick diagonally there. We're going to do the same over here so place it just there and one, two, three, and four. 
Place some regular stone stairs upside down against the top block of the sign terracotta like that and the same on that one just there. Then place a temporary block on the inside of them so that we can place a stone slab which it doesn't actually look like we've got. Let me just grab that there now. A stone slab like that just between the two stone stairs like so. And now this gap we're going to fill up with black concrete by building up just like that. Place an anvil in the front here like that and like that. Then place stone bricks on top of the stairs, the slab and these stairs. Take some polished andesite slabs and place them in a zigzag going like that with some more anvils on top of them just like there, there and there. Now place any block on top of the sign terracotta and the black concrete here. I'm going to use my bright yellow blocks just to make it obvious what I'm doing. And then on top of each of those blocks, place two blocks of clay just like so. On top of the middle two clay blocks, place a temporary block like that with three stone bricks just like so. You can break those temporary blocks then. Then on top of the central stone bricks, place another temporary block with two more stone bricks just like that and break the temporary block once again. We're now going to pause slightly with this and build up a bit more of the roof around it before we finish it off with its own dark oak roof as that will be a little bit easier once we've got some of the dark prismarine to work off of. And we're going to start down here by having one block just like that with a little almost like a I guess an arch you could call it around it like that with two coming up just like that. And then going to come behind this make another little arch around that section so it looks like that from the front with another two like that and then do the same again with an arch Oops. and two sticking up and now to finish this off we're going to do one last arch around the top just like that so once you've got that, in this gap here, we're going to build one, two blocks of dark prismarine like that, and two there next to the cyan terracotta. That gives us enough to be working with for that side. Now in this side, in these two gaps here, we're going to build up two like that, and two just like that. We're then going to put two behind that cyan terracotta just there with three there next to the grey concrete powder and three, one, two, three in that gap just like that. Now from this one in the middle here we're going to come one in that direction and one, two, three up and then one and one, one, two, three up again and that should now bring us to the same height as that over there and the same height as these just here and from that same middle one now going this way so back into the wall we're going to come one and one, two, three up just like that, which should just touch at the corner with that stone bricks. And now fill in these last couple of gaps here by putting one, two, and three in there. One just there like that. And then one, two, three in that gap just there like so. You'll also want to come around to the back here because this stairs just here leaves a little gap like that so we're going to break those stairs and replace that with dark prismarine as well and now when we look through here you can see there's no longer a tiny little gap we can see through there. And now we get to this roof over the window here. Now we're going to start on this side and we're going to start on this top stone brick block here. We're going to place two dark oak planks coming out like that with one coming down like that. Then come around, place one on the side there and one down like that and one against that and up. So we have this three block diagonal going back like so. Next place two blocks of the dark oak planks against that dark prismarine there. Two against the clay. Two on top of there and then take a temporary block place it on top of this front one with two on the side of it like that and then break the temporary block so you can see that this is now a four block diagonal on there. Now for this next let we're going to be doing much the same sort of thing as this. We're coming back one 
and except now it's going to be five blocks going in the diagonal rather than four. So we're going to start just here, like that, and then place two blocks there, two blocks there, and now for these last two we're going to need temporary blocks. So we're placing temporary blocks on top of those bits there, and placing our dark oak planks like that, and like that. So we now have our five blocks going in the diagonal like so. Now moving up to the next layer, we're going to place temporary blocks on top of all four of those just like so. We're then going to place a slab on the bottom half of them on that side. Break our temporary blocks. And now behind each of these slabs, we're placing two full dark oak plank blocks. So two there, two there, two there, and two there. And last of all, we're going two on the side of this one as well. So we have a bit that looks like that. Now we're going to move over to the other side and it starts with a three block diagonal much like this did. So we're starting from just here, place our two blocks just like that. Place a temporary block with two blocks like that. And a temporary block with two more blocks just like so. And we're placing a block in there as well. So we have the same sort of L shape as we have like that. Next layer up is four blocks, again, the same as this side. So we're starting here between the dark prismarine and the clay. Place two blocks like that. Two blocks on the clay. Two blocks just like that. And then place a temporary block here so we can place our last two blocks. Still mirroring this side for the next one. So we're doing five blocks this time. So we're doing our first two against that dark prismarine there. Then on top of the clay, then place temporary blocks and do two, two, and two, and break our temps. Now to finish this roof off, we're gonna place our four temporary blocks like that, like we did on the other side. Get our dark oak slabs, place them like that on the bottom halves. Break our temporary blocks and place our full blocks like this. And then this gap down the middle here, we can fill in with one, two, three, four blocks just like so. Now there's a couple of things to tweak here before we finish off the rest of the roof. First is, as you can see, there's still a little bit of a gap here between the dark oak and the dark prismarine. So we're gonna come around to this side. First, we're gonna place two solid dark oak blocks just like that. That makes this nice and even and symmetrical. Then we're gonna grab our dark prismarine blocks and on the side of that block, fill in like that. Side of this block, fill in like that and then place one just there to complete that diagonal line. Now if we come down here underneath and look up there, you can see you can actually still see that bright yellow block I placed on top of the sign terracotta earlier. Now this might not be as obvious for you because you might not have used a bright yellow block like that, but if it's not, just count one, two, three, and four blocks of the sign terracotta. And then if there's anything else on top of that before you hit the, the dark oak, just place a block of dark oak like that so you can only see these four blocks of dark of the sign terracotta. Um, I think I might need to do the same around this side. Yeah, I do. And then the last thing we need to tweak is you can see if you look up here, there are these two sort of funny looking holes in there. We're going to fill those in like that. And also on the side of this one there, place that. And on the side of this one here, place one like that. And that kind of just narrows that bit that you can see in there and just makes it look a little bit nicer. Now the dark prismarine roof for this section here is actually really, really easy to do. It basically just follows a repeating pattern in layers going up. And what we do is we follow the inside of where we've done all of this polished andesite. So on the inside of that, each layer is one, two, three blocks high like that. So that would be the first layer. That would be the second layer and so on. The dark prismarine basically just follows the same diagonal as this. So it's a one block diagonal going like that. And then in the corners, there's nothing tricky to do in the corners like we've had for some of these two block diagonal moves like this. All we do in the corners, if I build up a layer here to show you, that is the corner for one layer. So then the next layer would just start in like that. And then I'll show you a little bit more. So the next corner would look like that. And then the next layer 
comes in again and it's the exact same pattern for all of the corners so there's nothing tricky to do working out different bits for different corners depending on what layer you're on it's really really easy you just follow this exact same pattern and when you get to the same height as this and you've done it all the way around we just fill in across the top with more dark prismine so when you've done that it'll look like this and it looks a little bit funny having this band of the polished andesite and stone bricks coming across between the two roofs so what we're going to do is over this side we're going to break that block so we can continue this line the diagonal going across there and then everything in between here we're going to break out and replace with dark prismarine we're going to stop when we get to this block of polished andesite there so all of this is getting filled in now with the dark prismarine as well so the two roofs run into each other just like that now the last thing we're going to do in this episode is put in the wall at the back here so we're going to come down here and the first thing we're going to do is build up this block of the stone bricks to reach the top and this is where you really hope that ends up meeting up with this you should have to break just these end two blocks of the the grass blocks there and other than that when we build this up it should exactly meet up with that top load of stone bricks there which fortunately for me it does because that means I don't have to redo anything now for this wall here we are coming down to the bottom here with some gray concrete and we're coming across as far as that block just there don't touch any of this because that's for the next episode just build up this gray concrete as far as that just there and including this bottom block we're coming up a total of 22 blocks with the gray concrete and then after that everything else above it is going to be the gray wool when you've done all that it will look like this and you'll notice you've got a few blocks at the end here which do not have any wall to them yet don't worry about that that is because this end section here is where the next segment that we'll be doing next episode is gonna meet up with it so for now we can leave that wall coming around here to do this wall here all we need to do is fill in this little gap here with some grass just like this and then with the gray wool fill in in a diagonal line coming up to the top just like so and then once you've done this you can copy everything we've done in this episode across to the other side in its mirror image and there we have it guys both sides are done and i think this is a really good start to the mansion expansion which we can continue in the next episode i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button leave me a comment let me know what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos from me until next time i've been matt and i'll see you all in the next video